Okay, time for a new video, and whether you are somebody new to my channel or you are returning to my channel to watch this video, it is greatly appreciated. Apologies right out of the way first if the quality of this video is fairly poor. Sadly, it can't be helped, and hopefully it's not too much of an issue for you. This is yet another Junior Eurovision related video here on my channel because a few hours ago at the time of recording this video the 18th edition of the Junior Eurovision Song Contest took place in Warsaw in Poland at the TVP headquarters. 12 nations participated, a much lower total than what we've had in recent years and that is of course because of the ongoing global pandemic so countries such as Australia, Ireland, Italy, North Macedonia they chose not to compete, but we did have at least 12 nations involved, including Germany, who debuted and came last. More on that in a minute. I'm just going to go through my thoughts on the show as a whole, talk about the songs a little bit, and then tell you uh, my current ranking of the 12 songs, which will probably change again before it's more final, if you see what I mean. Anyway, uh, feel free to check out my live reaction to this year's results, which is up on my channel. I uh, filmed that, and that is there for you to watch if you so wish. So I'm going to get straight into it. I'm also taking a look at my WordPress blog, linking the description as always to that. And um, yeah, this will help me get my thoughts in order. So Germany got things going. Well, really, actually, I should talk about the stage, the hosts... Some of the performances were recorded in Warsaw. Great. Many of the performances weren't. Uh, for example, uh, Kazakhstan's performance was filmed in Nur Sultan. The Netherlands' performance was in Hilversum. And Russia's performance was in Moscow. But a lot of the uh, performances looked very similar in terms of the stage design. So that was very uh, nice and reassuring to see. And everybody did a really good job of putting this broadcast together. There was a small crowd wearing masks in the venue in Warsaw. We had three hosts. We didn't need three hosts at all, but that's what we got. So yes, Germany got things going. Stronger with you by Susan. I've put here a solid, if fairly unspectacular debut from Germany. Having opted for the more low-key number out of two in their national final of sorts, this was always going to be an iffy sort of song to stage well. She was alone on stage, those spiky light-up tree-like structures either side of her, lights also on the floor, warm tones, lots of yellows, browns, reds, br uh, things like that. I thought this was nice, but as I said, fairly unspectacular. It didn't really stand out much. It was on first. I'm surprised that the producers of this year's show thought Germany was a right song to get things going. Let me know your thoughts on that. But anyway, Germany finished last with 66 points. The performance apparently was in Hamburg. That's really harsh. Will Germany be back next year? Probably, but this is not how you would have wanted your first steps into junior Eurovision to go. Susan was last with the public, the online voting, with 39 points, and last with the jury. The highest mark was six points from France. So disappointing, but what are you going to do? Maybe the running order was the main problem, Maybe. I don't really know. Anyway, Kazakhstan, song two, Forever, by Karakat Mashinova. This was just beautifully staged. I was impressed with the rehearsal clip the other day. That big white dress, wings on her back, that sort of spacey, star-like pattern on the backing screen. It was wonderful. The vocals were absolutely on the money, too. And I've put here, this felt intimate and dramatic, but not wildly over the top, either. It sounded as though it was from a Broadway musical, in all honesty. Absolutely smashing. If Kazakhstan had been drawn to perform later on in proceedings, I think many fans would have said Karakad would be a shoe in to win, but being on second is never easy. Nevertheless, second place once again for the Kazakhs, 152 points, finishing second with the juries and third in the online vote. Two sets of 12 points from Georgia and Russia. This would have been a worthy winner. It really was so beautifully done. It was very mature. It looked great, sounded great. What else is there to say? Song three was The Netherlands, my personal favourite of the year. Unity with best friends. An all-girl group, all wearing uh, specific coloured outfits. On the backdrop, we had that globe, cartoon versions of the girls, lots of purple 
and blue tones, doors on stage as well, very similar to what we had at that national final performance at the Ahoy in Rotterdam uh, many weeks ago. This was, I think, tipped to do quite well, just not win. And that's exactly what happened. Unity finished fourth, narrowly missing out on third, uh, it, it must be said. 132 points, fourth in the online vote, fifth with the juries, 12 points from Germany. I'm really happy with that. It's a very good result. And the vocals weren't too bad either. They were clearly having a lot of fun singing this. Song 4, Serbia, Petar Ranicic with Heartbeat. This was really quite forgettable and almost really awkward as well. Let me know your thoughts on that. He was sitting behind the piano wearing that rather striking uh, zebra print red and white suit. Played the piano for a bit, then walked around and then sat back down with a bit of a cheesy grin at the end. It just felt a little bit awkward. This was never going to do that well. Let's be honest, I didn't see many people rank this very highly. He finished 11th with 85 points, 11th with the jury, but 7th in the online vote is pretty impressive. 12 points from the French jury. Interesting. But there we are, Serbia struggling, and I've put here... To me, Serbia lacks consistency in Junior Eurovision. Song 5, Belarus, a serious contender, Arena Petareva with Aliens. This finished 5th, which is about right, with 130 points. Belarus have a very consistent record, unlike Serbia, in Junior Eurovision. Uh, 12 points from Kazakhstan, Serbia and Poland here. 3rd with the juries, 5th with the online vote. I thought this was very good, very powerful. It's such a stirring, mature-sounding track. Uh, we had various images of children popping up. I'm not sure that totally worked. At one point, uh, there was somebody holding a globe. Globe's a common theme this year, it seems. We had that big bang explosion on the backdrop, sort of in the final chorus. It looked very uh, striking indeed. Fifth place, as I said, about right for this. Like with the Netherlands, tipped to do well, but maybe not strong enough to secure the win. Moving on to song six, Poland. Well, this for me is the flop of the year. Ala Trach with I'll Be Standing. I thought this was really good. Ninth place with 90 points. Really does feel quite low for what is an up-tempo track. It's quite uplifting. And Ala was on stage. She was in a red dress. She had dancers on the backdrop and on stage with her, one dressed as a cheerleader. This was quite energetic. And really well done, so I'm surprised it didn't strike a chord with more people. Ninth in both the jury and online vote. The highest mark was eight from Georgia, Malta and Serbia in that jury vote. Yeah, I'm surprised. Maybe you can put a reason in the comments as to why you think Poland struggled this year. So no third victory in a row. I've put here that she sang very well. She was surrounded by images of dancers and actual casually dressed dancers around her on stage too. Red and blue, the most prominent colours. I don't know. Really, really struggled. Surprisingly so. I was very surprised in my live reaction earlier. Song 7, Georgia. Sandra Gadelia with You Are Not Alone. The last song chosen slash revealed for this year's competition. 12 points from the Spanish and Ukrainian juries. Fourth in the jury vote overall, which is very impressive. But Georgia tend to struggle in the online vote year after year. 11th place, 42 points. That's a great shame. I like this song more than I did several hours ago, before this year's contest, that's for sure. 6th place, 111 points. Performed in Georgian and English. She was wearing this black outfit with flowers all over her. She had dancers in white outfits wearing masks around her as well. The song for me... It, it, it feels as though there needs to be more to it. I was expecting something extra. I mean, I've heard the song before. Of course I have. You know, I, Tonight was the first time I'd heard the song in full for a little while. But I've probably heard the song about five or ten times now between that. And listening to it again, I just thought there needs to be something extra here in the song. Because it seems as though it's verse, chorus, a lot of... Nothing really. And then the chorus again. Let me know your thoughts on that. I'm really rambling. But anyway, Georgia, song seven, finished sixth. 111 points. Really nice vocals, though. Really good stuff. Song eight was Malta. Chanel Monseigneur with Chasing Sunsets. The backdrop here showed clips from the music video. This, you know, drawing and the story of the girl chasing a balloon or whatever it was. I think much of the emphasis was on that. Chanel sang well. It's a really beautiful little song. But in the end... 
I didn't think this was going to really finish in the top five, let's say. Eighth place, 100 points. Eighth with the jury and eighth with the online vote. The highest mark was 10 from Georgia. Really not much else to say about this. She, ju she just stood there, swayed about on the spot a bit, belted it out. A bit like Sandra for Georgia. It, oh, excuse me, excuse me. It was really nice, uh, but uh, not quite strong enough. Song 9, Russia. I thought this was one of the best performances of the show, in my opinion. Sofia Feskova with My New Day, perhaps one of the most underrated tracks pre-contest. Hot air balloons on the backdrop and the turning pages of a book before a falling rain effect made way for fireworks. It was on the cheesy side, but no matter. Good overall. A lowly 10th place result. Feels too low for what was a decent showing. This felt very Disney, very fairy tale. 10 points from France here. I think they were watching a different show from everybody else. But anyway, uh, Russia were 10th with the jury and 10th in the online vote. 10th overall with 88 points. That just feels too low. She was in a pale blue dress. Yes, there wasn't much happening on stage at all, but this feels a bit low. Let me know your thoughts on that. Anyway, we've got to move on to Spain. Palante by Solea, nine years of age. I have read within the past half an hour or so, at the time of recording this video, apparently some Spanish fans have been very angry and rude on social media, particularly Twitter, about the outcome of tonight's contest which i think is really disappointing we should know better they should know better but anyway i've put here spain looking for another top three finish that's what they got uh, a truly remarkable record in the junior contest she was wearing this frilled light blue tracksuit type outfit there was a futuristic neon look for the performance the choreography was quite slick as well and at the end she was standing on top of these graffitied blocks with her all in black dancers the vocals were fine but i have to say i was somewhat underwhelmed I felt as though this needed something even more interesting about the performance, something more edgy and vibrant. But alas, we didn't really get it. In the end, third place, 133 points. That's just right, in my opinion. Second in the online vote, sixth with the juries. Spain's highest mark was 10 from the German and Kazakh juries. Uh, Dutch juries. Yes. Anyway, moving on. Spain, very good, but not quite gold standard. I was hoping for a little bit more. Song 11, Ukraine, Alexander Balabanov with Vid Krive Open Up. A rare male act for Ukraine this year. Quite sophisticated with a slight jazzy lounge bar lilt to it. And he held a light at ball on stage. There was a Tron-like cityscape visible on the backing screen at one point. This was all right. Seventh place, 106 points. Okay, fair enough. I don't really have much to say about it. I'm never really going to love this song. 10 points from the Polish and Russian juries here, and 7th in the jury vote overall, 6th in the online vote. That's not too bad. I just thought this was quite forgettable. I'll be totally honest with you. Uh, but he sang quite well. And finally, the winner. Great place in the running order, of course. Expected to push hard for the win. J'imagine Valentina, utterly charming. If this had been the French entry last year, it wouldn't have won. And if we had had Bim Bam Toi this year... Would France have won? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. But this was so charming. Absolutely right for junior Eurovision. A song for kids. We had images of the Leaning Tower of Pisa and a Dutch windmill on the screens behind her. Then we had lollipops. And it had a very sort of Katy Perry California girls vibe to it. And then the Eiffel Tower swaying about, of course, because that's the only building in France. She was wearing a pink dress and a sort of denim jacket over the top, it seemed like. She had dancers, very energetic. Yes... She was reliant on playback. There's no doubt about it. There was quite a lot of playback. She was lifted up at one point and, you know, it was obvious uh, that there was a lot of playback. But uh, she has put on Twitter, Valentina, actually, within the past half an hour or so, I think it is, uh, that she had stress in her voice, which is very understandable. You know, it's a nervous thing to get up there and sing, even if there's, you know, not really much of a crowd going on. Uh, she did a wonderful job. Big smile on her face. It was really, really charming, really sweet, really cute. And I'm glad this was the winner. France haven't won the adult competition, the grown-up competition, since the 70s. And it's clear that France are much stronger with the junior contest than the grown-up edition. So hopefully, for 2021, for Rotterdam, France are going to blow people away. I'd love to see it. Let me know your thoughts on anything junior Eurovision related this year, of course. I've put a little paragraph here talking about the results. So I predicted... Uh, Spain to win, they finished third. I predicted France to finish third, they won. 
I predicted Kazakhstan to finish second, that's what happened. I predicted the Netherlands sixth, they finished fourth. Belarus, I predicted fifth, that's what happened. Georgia, I predicted eighth, they finished sixth. Ukraine, I predicted tenth, finished seventh. Malta, predicted eleventh, finished eighth. Poland, predicted fourth, finished ninth. Russia, predicted seventh, finished tenth. Serbia, predicted twelfth, finished eleventh. Germany, predicted ninth, finished last. A real shame. What with it being their debut? My current ranking of the songs has slightly changed and it will slightly change again moving forwards. The Netherlands still my number one, France, Spain, Poland, Kazakhstan my number five, Russia six, Belarus seven, Germany, Georgia, Malta, Serbia and my number twelve, Ukraine. Feel free to leave your own ranking of the songs down below. Maybe there's a performance that really boosted your opinion uh, of a song or maybe you've gone off a song now that you've seen the performance in the broadcast earlier. I thought it was really well put together. We didn't need three hosts. Vicky Gabor was there, she sang quite well. And we had Roxana appear, the first Polish winner. And we had Duncan Lawrence and Alicia, who would have represented Poland in the grown up competition in May, had the contest gone ahead earlier this year with Empires. That was pretty good. She had a dance on stage with her as well. Just taking a look here, France got three 12 points from the juries, Belarus two. And that means that next year, ladies and gentlemen, will it be. Paris 2021. Very, very possible. We'd love to see it. Apparently the Netherlands have already confirmed that they will participate. That show will be broadcast in late November 2021. I look forward to it. And now I'm going to shut up. This has been a big ramble. Apologies for that. And also if the quality hasn't been that great. This year's Junior Eurovision is over. I will be back uh, next week, all being well, with a reaction to the 2021 Melody Festivalen lineup. Yes, because I believe that's going to be on Tuesday, which is the 1st of December, is it not? And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I have seen a supposed leaked list, um, but I only briefly skimmed through that and I have forgotten most of what was on there. We'll see if that was legitimate in a few days' time. Until then, take care of yourself, stay healthy. Feel free to leave comments and check out my other social pages, social media pages if you so wish. Until next time, take care and bye for now. Well done to France. Well deserved.